All right, it's tip of the day. People love tip of the day. Uh, we have an AD9686 uh, comparator comp. I had to look it up. <laughs> I didn't know what they were, but I did, I did know I had a big bag of them. So I don't know where they came from. They just magically were in one of my drawers, <laughs> probably from some estate. I don't know. Anyway, uh, they're in a nice package there. Let me get one out. They're in a uh, hermetic ceramic package, like milita military grade. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, 1991. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Made by uh, analog devices. Okay, let's look at the data sheet. I'm sure it's can't buy it anymore. Probably can't find it anymore. It's probably a relic, <laughs> but I have them. So what, what, what can I do with them? Uh, let's see, here we go. It is a high speed TTL voltage comparator. What that means is the output is TTL compatible. Um, so here they're showing uh, plus five volts in the up and the uh, negative six volts in the down. Uh, and then there's a latch enable. So the output is swings between ground and five volts. So it's TTL compatible, uh, but the input can go plus or minus. And then the latch, you can turn on and off um, the uh, transmission of the circuit. So it's, it's, if you have the latch enabled pulled low, then it's transparent. And then if you um, uh, bring it high, it remembers the last state and stays there. All right, so let's see here, what does it say? Seven nanoseconds, DTL outputs, complementary. Mm, high speed trigger, receivers, threshold detectors, blah, 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 blah. Yep, comparator type stuff. All right, so why such a big package, you say? <laughs> I say. Um, doesn't use many of the pins, but it uses, uh, it's an interesting, um, I find it's an interesting layout also. It's plus V, minus V, input and output, and then outputs on that side. So I like I like the layout of the chip, actually. You can also get it in a round can or in some kind of weird LCC package. All right, so I say uh, we try it out. It probably has normal TTL output type stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, Two and a half volts out, 0.4 volts low, two and a half high. It can source one milliamp. It can sink 10 milliamps. That's standard TTL type stuff. Uh, one millivolt of offset. Yeah, I mean it's an oldie, right? But uh, let's see if it's let's see if it's usable. Okay, I have it hooked up in the circuit here and um, I'm probing it. I'm using my, my FET probe uh, because I'm going to be doing some high speed stuff and I didn't want to load it down. I used my normal probe to start and I found that I was getting weird waveform so I, I moved to my FET probe and uh, things got better so why not use it? All right so the input is going to be coming from this uh, device, an SG503. It's a real fast uh, sine wave generator. So here's our input, here's our output, toggle, toggle. And we're at five megahertz. Let's go up. Uh, we're at uh, nine and a half. Uh, let's take it up to 10 here. We're at 10 megahertz. And uh, everything looks fine and dandy. Let's go up again. Uh, here we're at 26 megahertz. Everything's still fine and dandy, input, output. Yes, indeed. Everything's looking good. Uh, let's go up again. 46 megahertz, still, still, still working good. Um, 106 megahertz, it's still operating. So, yeah, it, so here's 100 megahertz. And we'll go up and then it'll start, to, right there it starts to break, right at about 100 and 107, let's see, where does it break? Yeah, right at about 115, 115 megahertz. So it would make a great input for like a frequency counter or something. Um, probably need to put an amplifier in front of it to get the, to get the voltage swings uh, big enough for the comparator, but I don't know. It's pretty nice. Yeah.
seems to work uh, seems to work pretty good. All right, that was tip of the day, a high-speed TTL voltage compared to an AD9686.